Hey friends, so much has changed, isn't it? Look at me back then and look at me now. But hey, what do you think has not changed? My healthy breakfast of cornflakes. And today, I'm going to tell you all about the invention of cornflakes. Come on, let's go. Zoom in. Did you know earlier Americans would eat very heavy and oily food for breakfast? They would eat absolutely anything. This led to a whole country of people with upset stomachs and acidity, which made some people want to try a healthier breakfast. One such person was the superintendent of a health spa in Michigan called the Battle Creek Sanitarium and a health fanatic himself, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg. Dr. John, along with his brother, Will Keith Kellogg, wanted to make a healthy breakfast meal for their countrymen. So, in 1887, they did this by mixing cornmeal and oatmeal into a dough, then added nuts and baked them into biscuits by passing them under a roller. These were then crumbled up into little pieces and were served as a new healthy food. The brothers called it granula. They used this as a healthy meal at their spa, but it was totally bland. However, this was named similar to another product of the same name created by James Caleb Jackson back in 1863. So, to avoid being sued, they changed the name to granola instead. All was going well for the brothers after that. Then one day, while in the middle of heating wheat to make crackers, they were called away on some urgent business. When they came back, the wheat dough had been heated and then cooled to a crisp. They still carried on with the process dough and put it through the roller. They expected a big sheet of dough as usual. But to their surprise, when they flattened the dough, it broke into separate flakes. This, they thought, was an even better idea. And the people at the spa loved them. So, the Kellogg brothers started experimenting with different kinds of grain to find out what else could work. Until, in 1898, they tried this process with corn and were delighted at the results, as were all the patrons at the spa. And this is how corn flakes were invented. However, this is where the brothers had a disagreement. John felt that the flakes were great as it is, and like all his other healthy foods, corn flakes were also bland and tasteless. Will, on the other hand, knowing that they weren't the only people selling cereal like cornflakes, felt that if they added sugar to it, they would taste better and sell more. But John would have none of it. He didn't want something that he thought so unhealthy added to his creation. And the cornflakes were left untouched for a long time. After selling their foods together for a while, Will Kellogg finally separated from his brother in 1906, bought the rights of the cornflakes from him and started his own company, the Battle Creek Toasted Cornflake Company. Here he started mass selling his own sugar-coated cornflakes, which instantly became a huge hit. After a long legal battle over the Kellogg name, Will won the rights to use their own name and his company became the Kellogg Cereal Company we know today. And that is how cornflakes became the breakfast cereal of today. Aren't you glad they added sugar to it? They would taste so bland without it. And now you know what it's time for. It's trivia time! The word cereal comes from an ancient Greek word, Cyrilia a major festival celebrating Ceres, the goddess of agriculture. 
astronaut ate Kellogg's Corn Flakes aboard Apollo 11, the spacecraft. Well, friends, that's the story behind my favorite breakfast food. And I'm sure it's the same for many of you too. And with all the amazing flavors we have today, it's no wonder that Kellogg's is famous the world over. That's it for today. Tune in next time for more fun facts. This is me, zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. So you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.